right, so I'm here at camp in my dorm room. What's up? And uh, I've been sent two different in-ear monitors, and I thought, let's put them head-to-head -head because they're similar in that they are budget, but they are drastically on different ends of the budget range. Uh, first, we have the KZ EDXS. It seems uh, pretty new, EDSX right there. These are the cheapest. Let's just look here on the website. If you click buy now, um, look at this, 1180. 1180 on AliExpress. That is the cheapest set of in-ears I've seen, but only for a few more dollars uh, you can get the DQS, which is what I've been using a lot lately, and I don't know why they're making so many around that same price range other than they may just sound different. Now, I don't have the DQS with me here, uh, but I'm going to uh, unbox these, let you see them, and then test them. And I'm also going to do the same thing with this um, SimGot, or maybe it's SimGo, I don't know how to say it. And these are the EA500s, and the price for these are $79. So I said on the high end of budget, I would say budget starts at 200 and below, so maybe this is the medium range. Uh, but I'm gonna unbox these and try them out, and uh, we'll get back with you and see how they perform against each other to see if you should consider buying one of these. Let's start with the EDXS. <laughs> The typical KZ box. And honestly, they don't look bad. It has a metal plate, which I wasn't expecting for $11.80. And they're clear, which is kind of cool. So they have the metal plate, so I don't have my studio lighting. But I hope you can see that. So you can see all the inner workings there. You can go to the website and read all the important things, but basically it's a 10 millimeter dynamic headphone, but so is this one, 10 millimeter dynamic driver. So that's why I thought they would be fairly similar. And uh, yeah, nice looking set of headphones. Now let's see what the cable's like. The cables are getting to be a bigger and bigger deal with me lately. Uh, some of them have like a rubber cable and I don't like rubber because I throw it down the back of my shirt and the rubber tends to stick a little bit. So, okay, good, we don't have rubber. It's a plastic, kind of a cheap feeling plastic, which I would expect for $11.80. So, that's what they look like, and I'll try them on after I open up the other pair. And we definitely have a bigger, more substantial box right here. The SimGot or SimGo EA500. Oh, it slides out like a book and... Oh yeah, now apparently these have like some, it's all, I'm assuming Chinese. I don't know, I don't speak other languages. So I can't really read the back, but if you go to the website, you can see they have these different pictures here. Uh, that's what they're gonna look like, I guess. But they have these different rings that you can take in and out, and they give you different EQ curves. So it's like a detachable ring. So this seems like something I wouldn't wanna have to deal with, but, uh, <laughs> but we'll see. A box within a box. Don't try to add more years to your life. Better add more life to your years. Blaze Pascal. Pascal. <laughs> Wow, that's a pretty cool quote. Definitely better packaging. Ooh, nice felt that went against the uh, thing so it didn't rub off the finish. Nice touch. Metal all the way around, nice shiny metal. Probably a fingerprint magnet, but it does look good. Feels nice, not too heavy though. More ear tips. Oh, it comes with a case, which I, it, it should. For 80 bucks, you should get a case. It's a nice case, kind of a leathery feel. Almost like it could rip if you weren't very careful. Ooh, nice big braided cable. Comes with some Velcro to hold it together. Nice long cable. So this is kind of a, it's not braided, it's just twisted. But it's got these, it's got a big twist to it. And it has the little zip tie sliders. I mean, KZ is putting so much attention to detail in theirs, but the one thing I just wish they would do is add the little slider right here so I can cinch this up behind my ears. Pushing those pins in there, I don't know if you can see how long they are. See how long those pins are? Uh, the KZs kind of have like a protective layer over it so you don't feel like you're gonna break those off when you push them in, but these don't. And these pins are like longer. So it made me nervous pushing it in that I was gonna break something. Apparently there's supposed to be some rings somewhere. Oh, I see. These little things slide off and you can put a red silicone ring right there or a black one. All right, so there, are the EA500s right there. You can see how these fit. And these are the EDXS. 
Let's do some listening. Go to Spotify and put on some pink noise. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's what I'm listening to. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, so right off the bat, the more expensive ones sound more expensive. Definitely worth the upgrade. Just just listen to Pink Noise. I'll listen to some music here in a second. But deeper lows, it just sounds like you're more immersed in the sound uh, compared to these. Uh, maybe even a little bit of more volume. So you just feel like it's you're in the sound. Let me listen to some music. I mean, these don't sound bad at all. It just doesn't feel like you're in it like with these. Yeah, the best way I can describe it is that the more expensive ones, the um, Simgo EA500s, um, it just sounds like a better mix. Like when you listen to those before and after of those like mix presets, um, the other one sounds fine. You get all the content there, but then as soon as you put these in, it's like, oh, a little bit more rich. Bottom in, a little higher. Um, those those vocals really stand out. There's like that shimmer on top without it being piercing. So um, I'm, I'm probably gonna use these tonight uh, for sure, but I'll test these out during rehearsal as well. But there you go, there's my, my first thoughts just listening here and we'll see how they perform live. Dude, I just watched a cool video. Did you watch cool videos? Watch this one. When you need to stop someone from destroying your property. So what's your part on Nothing But The Blood? You know, I'm playing this, this, uh... How does it go? This piano riff, it goes, uh, something like... Well, that's if you add delay. Oh, are you adding delay? Probably. So we're gonna do Nothing But The Blood by... Is that one Citizens 2? Seems like all the hymns we're doing are by Citizens. Alright, so we're heading into rehearsal for tonight. What's the set list? I don't know, you tell me. I know the second song is nothing but the blurred. No, it's not promises. I promise you it's not promises. Celeste, how's your week been? I didn't get you in the vlog this morning. My week has been good. I went to Greenville by myself. That's right, we all planned to go to Greenville and then she's like, no, I don't need those people. Exactly. I will go by myself. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a strong independent You're a strong independent woman. If you wouldn't have made it back tonight, you'd been like, I oh, remember Celeste? She used to be a strong and independent woman. <laughs> She went off by herself.
All right, so it's like really late. But I just wanted to end this video by giving you my honest feedback on these headphones. Um, the KZs, if you're looking for a very cheap, inexpensive backup pair, these are great. They sound great. They're fun. These are blowing me away. After using them live, like I was just as blown away in the room here, I felt like my vocals have never like been pushed through them. I didn't even change my mix. I didn't change my monitor mix from the other ones I was using. Uh, I've been using the KZ ZARs since I've been at camp. Um, but these it just made me feel the same way I said earlier in the video. Like I was immersed in the sound. My vocals shine through, but not, it added like this, you know, the ex exciter where I could hear like the top end. I didn't feel like I was singing muffled, but it wasn't um, harsh at all. But it still had all the low end and um, I'm, I'm very impressed with these. I can't wait to continue using these and see how they hold up. So, um, great job. I'll try to put a link down below for, for both of these and any other ears. If you're shopping and you're looking for some 80 bucks, if you have the budget, um, so far I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. So anyways, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Have a good day.